Alright, so I'm just going to go over quickly making a PCB footprint for a custom part. Uh, what I've done here, uh, this one is obviously one that I started already and made, but basically uh, we start off by going into the library to make a PCB footprint. We go to PCB symbols, and basically we just go to new item, and that opens up a blank sheet for you to work in. Uh, in this case, I'm going to show you one that I've already put together. Uh, the first thing to do is obviously starting with pads. Um, you can put in two kinds, through hole and surface mount pads. In this case, it's a through hole component, so I put in 40 through hole pads. You know, pad pin number one is here, and that's my starting point, indicated by this S symbol origin. And working across to 20, and then over to 21, and across to 40. Um, it's a pretty common mistake to mess up the order of the pins. Uh, for all electronic components, it starts in, in, well, in this case, the bottom left, and then goes across and around anti-clockwise. As you can see, this is pin 40, pin 21. So you want these to match, uh, because when you're mapping it to the schematic, you want, obviously, the connections to go to the right places. Um, if that's all you need, just a bunch of holes or a bunch of pads in a certain pattern, then you could be done, but I went a little fancy and made myself some outlines. Um, I went to the data sheet for this part and pulled out the dimensions for all of these measurements. Uh, it should, you know, according to the data sheet, it's 1.8 inches between the pads, or th rather the ends of the pins. As you can see here, I've labeled it 1.8 inches, and the length of the segment is 1800 mils, so that's 1.8 inches. Uh, the inside here, this box, is actually the size of the LCD, and it's 1600 mils, 1 1.6 inches wide, and 3700 mils, 3.7 inches across. So now we can save that to one of our libraries, and now when I go to make the component, I can just simply use this footprint and everything will be set up for me.